Hi friends, Melissa Micey from Nephew Physical Therapy here to talk about all things shoulder. We wanna give you some tips and some helpful hints on things you should know if you're scheduled to have shoulder surgery. Shoulder surgery is so common and so many people are entering down that path and it's usually not unplanned. So we're gonna give you 10 tips today to share with you that you know ahead of time. Take about five minutes, so hang in there. First thing to know, it's gonna hurt. I hate to tell you, but expect it to hurt. It will go away, it's temporary, it's not long-term. Be patient with it, it's going to hurt. Ice is your friend. Number two, as you're going through your recovery after surgery, you could get one of those fancy ice pack thing, machines, majiggies, but otherwise, a simple homemade ice pack of rubbing alcohol, water, and a Ziploc bag works great. Some people love peas, but ice is your friend. The sling, let's talk about the sling for a minute. The sling is not a suggestion. You're told to wear that sling, hold your hand next to your heart. There's a reason. Your tissues take so long to heal and that muscle needs to recover, so let it rest. Listen to your surgeon, listen to your therapist. They're not trying to torture you. <laughs> Number four, sleep will be difficult. This is a really important thing to keep in mind. Many of our patients find themselves sleeping in the recliner for weeks. You can't lay on that shoulder. You can't find a comfortable place to sleep. Again, it's temporary. It's not long term, but plan on it. All right? Number five. Oh, I love this one. Don't be a hero. Take your meds. Now, of course, this is a conversation that you need to have between you and your physician. Because as therapists, we're not prescribing your meds. But we do know that staying on that schedule initially after surgery is most important to maintaining a pain level that you can tolerate so that when you do start therapy and we move it for you, you can handle it. Okay? That simple. The next thing we want you to consider and plan ahead on, number six, is where are you going to do your rehab? So, of course, that's where we come in. We think it's important for you to give the clinics in your area a call, find out, are they scheduling far out? How soon can you get in? How long are those appointments? Are you getting the most bang for your buck? Are they doing long enough appointments? These are things to keep in mind. Do they do a lot of hands-on care? Are they just gonna throw you on an exercise arm bike and make you do that for hours on end? Do some investigation, get some referrals, figure out the place that's best for you. And if I might add, don't necessarily pick the place that's the closest to you. That might not be the best. And for everything that you went through with the shoulder, you deserve the best, all right? So keep that in mind. Number seven, this is going to take some time. Now, we know how impatient you can be after you've had surgery because for months or weeks, you've been having problems already. This is going to take some time to get better. Most people will say it takes nine months to a year before you start to feel normal again. That's what the surgeons and your therapists will say as well. It's going to take time. Be patient. Get through it. Do the right thing, and you'll get there. Number eight. This one's this is one of my favorites. Make physical therapy your top priority. I know you're saying a physical therapist is saying this, and you just want my money. No, that's not it at all. You just went through this really painful, expensive, grueling surgery where that surgeon tightened, screwed, sawed, whatever they had to do to fix it. And if you don't take care of that nice new shoulder and do proper rehab, it won't work for you. It's like buying a brand new car and not doing regular maintenance on it. You've got to take care of it. With a new shoulder, you take exceptional care, right? You take exceptional care of your brand new car. You wash it, wax it, whatever, every week than you would with that old junker beater that you have. So make sure that you make therapy your top priority. Be on time. Don't miss appointments. Do your homework, all right? Number nine, we recommend not planning, I, I'm sorry, we recommend not planning any major trips during the first three months after surgery. Now, if you already have a trip to Fiji scheduled, 
keep it. I mean, for real, like the shoulder will still be there in a week or two. But what we know is when we lose momentum and traction and therapy and you get distracted by doing other things and trips that may or may not be good for that shoulder, it can just slow it down. And know that we're coming from a place where we want that shoulder to be the best that it can. All right, last tip, number 10, <laughs> listen to your surgeon and of course your physical therapist. It's important to listen to our guiding. Sometimes we have to push you a little harder. Sometimes we have to hold back the reins because you're doing too much. Your surgeon has very specific protocols set out for you that tells you what you can do, how much you can lift, what direction you can move it, and those are the things you need to listen to. Because, believe it or not, we all know what we're doing and we've done a few of these before. So, all in all, the big thing here is that doing shoulder surgery is wonderful in the fact that we can save those muscles or fix a joint, but it's gonna take time. And it really is a long process, but because we want that shoulder to work for you to play volleyball or golf or pick up your grandkids or paint, whatever that may be, we want you to get the most out of that shoulder. So take these 10 tips, think about that shoulder surgery that you're about to go through and make sure that you're mentally and physically and emotionally prepared to be the best you. So again, Melissa Meisty with Nephew Physical Therapy reminding you to take care of you.